What is up, everyone? It's Mr. Stinger Girl coming at you with the last set of the finals for the Steel Speaks Open. This is it, everyone. Winner takes all. It is a best of three. The first game is on the Open Palms. The iconic Open Palms that has... This is its first appearance in the tournament, guys. And speaking of icons, we got two of the best players of Supcom 2 history. Let's see who they are. To the south, we got the one, the only Polar Bears spawning in as the orange Cybern Commander. Dropping down Eco, all the things. He went build cost build time, which is not a bad idea. And his opponent... Nuclear Pizza spawning in as the blue Aeon Commander dropping down an air factory with his engineers echoing all day long. And usually Nuclear Pizza's brown. Maybe I'm losing my mind here or something. I'm, I'm used to him being brown, but he is blue. So as you can see, we got Polar Bears queuing up quite the eco he's got quite a plan for eco there everybody he is really going for it as he puts down an air factory and he had an a land factory queued up but he thought maybe i should put down this radar gathering installation first because maybe my opponent is going to be attacking me and polar bears upgrades that radar so he sees pretty much everything he knows that his opponent has gone air. So Polar Bears has probably a pretty decent um, advantage right now with the build cost build time. It's only a matter of time. Now that he drops down a research station, that is really going to make it very difficult for Nuclear Pizza to bring a victory in 30 minutes or less. And we got... Uh, a second air factory. I don't know if I agree with that, but Nuclear Pizza is echoing all day long, and I think that's how they are going to play this match because both players are doing essentially the same thing. Uh, maybe they have a gentleman's agreement. Don't do anything until about 10 minutes in. I don't know, but there is a, a radar station there for the pizza and he could see quite a bit because that is really far up but it's a on radar so he only really probably sees about here at best he sees a lot of these loyalists that is going to be really really annoying to deal with considering that all pizza has are it, all he has is air all Polar Bears has to do is spread these guys apart and the bombing run will be completely ineffective. Uh, ineffective, excuse me. And it appears that Nuclear Pizza sees all that he can see and he is bringing in his really, really nasty looking Air Force. He's going to bomb everything he can. He's bringing that pain in 30 minutes or less, trying to make nuclear pizza, uh, <laughs> polar bears an endangered species. And polar bears really got a great opener on that engagement. But the numbers just are not in his favor. Favor as polar bears researches the adapters. That one, those two, that one, two research stations are really, really going to do him some favors here. And a third air factory for Nuclear Pizza. Nuclear Pizza has to be really, really careful about putting all his eggs in that one basket because they are now adapters on the field which take out practically everything as Nuclear Pizza proves me somewhat wrong taking out that one metal extractor that has to hurt that eco just a tiny bit. But again, these adapters do so so much damage to air units and they are completely and completely deadly it appears polar bears shut down that air factory and oh a really nice bombing run there for nuclear pizza taking out three 
Loyalists in one pass. That's really, really painful for the Polar Bears. He really, really can't afford to lose a lot of units. And another land factory going down for the Polar Bears. He's really committing to this land game. And that is an excellent counter there for the Pizza. Putting down a land factory and redundant um, radars, which isn't a bad idea considering this one is right here isn't a bad... Oh, he took it out. So, not so redundant. A good idea because it denies his opponent research points, which he has already got two research stations. Of kind of, I think that might have been a misclick. Um, flying right over all those loyalists as that air tower goes down. I think Pizza, I mean, Polar Bears is doing something very, very, very crazy there. But not so crazy because he's got a lot of those, those um, adapters. And they're really, really going to help protect this point defense push, which is almost really, really pointless against uh, Aeon because Aeon have such great... Um, range on their point defense a two point defense versus one that's just not going to really do it there and though yeah the the damage three of them yeah that that's going to go right through that shield and take it out polar bears is, is kind of has unfortunately wasted quite a bit uh, about 200 resources on that but that forced nuclear pizza to really commit to these point defense and I like the land factory there in the center. I think that's really going to help pull the bears out. And that's a really great high damage air tower. If a, if a shield could get over that nuclear pizza, I mean, pull the, no, <laughs> nuclear pizza would have one heck of a time dislodging this. And Bona Booms, I think it's going to be straight to teleport for nuclear pizza. He really, really, really wants to get that win in in 30 minutes or less. And... A lot of adapters that's really going to be helpful here for the small amount of loyalists and forcing polar bears to split polar bears is in some trouble here it appears right now but a lot of air force goes down in that pass that's got to be really really painful another high damage air tower right in a really good spot so this air tower could just blast air units from a distance. I like that. That's very, very nice. And two air towers going down. And I think Polar Bears sees the air units as the biggest threat right now. And this engineer is doing absolutely... Nope, he's actually helping. I'm sorry there, Polar Bears. Of course, you would know better. And Cobra is being so, so annoying here at the frontier. And they're just... Shooting those rockets right into really nothing right now because Nuclear Pizza is microwing his units around. If Polar Bears could get a couple of volleys off, maybe if he moved it over to the side right here, the Cobras alone, that would be a really great thing. Especially have them split, forcing the Air Force to go over, taking lots of damage from these high damage air towers. But who knows what is going to happen here. And a research station there for the pizza, that is going to be so helpful in catching up to Polar Bears. Polar Bears really, really needs to start saturating the mass here because Nuclear Pizza has gotten quite ahead of him. I think he has at least four or five mass points ahead of him. Maybe even more than that. I am not sure. I can't really spend, take the time to count. But Polar Bears is... Kind of... Oh, I like the shield. I don't... That is kind of crazy right there, but... It could really, really, really help. And, like I said, there's the teleport. Polar Bears is going to have one heck of a time dealing with this. Um, and in come the tanks to just wreck shop. But Polar Bears is doing a really, really good job. He took out that Air Force. That Air Force is down. There is no air in the sky to think of for 
for nuclear pizza. He has only, okay, he has one air unit and one factory goes down as pizza is pushing in a small group of land units. That is, I, I just need to keep zoomed out here. I want to, I want to, want to see right here as the loyalist spam, and I mean the Brackman spam is taking down so, so many buildings. It's so nasty. And it appears all that was lost in this engagement here, this little incursion, was a mass point. That is quite a good trade there for the Polar Bears. The Polar Bears is against trying with a point defense push, which I don't, there's not enough loyalists there to really, st oh, nice unit detonate there by the Polar Bears. The Polar Bears has really, really turned the tide of battle here and is pushing into Nuclear Pizza's territory. The Cybran point defense push, which is such a nasty, nasty thing to do. Pizza is getting surrounded here. He is, boom, going down. Nice job there, Polar Bears. For a second there, I thought Pizza had this in 30 minutes or less. You are certainly not an endangered species at all as the um, administration whoever does that the national wildlife administration who are saying who is a endangered species and who is not because you are definitely not on that endangered species list and look at you building a research station right in front of nuclear pizza's base that is so freaking rude and well done there that Polar Bears is up one game. So I am going to shut this out. And I am going to do what I did the last time. So guys, hang with me as this loads. I got a pretty fast PC, so it is going to come right up. So welcome back to the second match. And I believe this one is Desolathia, if I remember correctly. It is a very, very small map. And I like it because... Who knows what the players are going to do. It's going to be quite interesting because, like I said, it's a small map. And the players will be at each other's throat almost immediately. So, let's see Polar Bears spawning in as the Orange UEF Commander rushing two land factories as fast as he can. And echoing with his commander. No, no, no. He split, he had an engineer build quickly and then had his commander finish it. That is the way to do it, guys. And Nuclear Pizza, I think, is doing something similar. Dropping down two land factories. He is the blue UEF commander. Let's see him walking around, putting down Eco with that commander. He is trying to get in the center as soon as he can. Polar Bear is opting to put down a radar. He wants to see more of what is going on as his engineers are echoing up. That is awesome. And putting down a meteor, a couple meteors. I don't know if I agree with that play because Polar Bears does not know what's out there. But you know what? He's one of the top players. So who am I to question anything these guys do? And a third land factory going down. Already down for the pizza as he is spamming out these rockhead tanks. Some energy going down there for the polar bears as, as he is going to make sure these engineers are put hard at work at assisting those land factories. Nuclear pizza researching range which is a much much needed thing as it is they are kiting Polar Bears. Polar Bears putting down a heavy point defense. Taking some damage as <laughs> some of those meteors trickle down a little bit of damage on those meteors. Polar Bears protecting that point defense as Nuclear Pizza is coming in. I don't know what Polar Bears is going to do. He's already down in the yellow with 15,000 hit points as Nuclear Pizza has his full 20,000 hit Polar Bears is walking away as he... Nope, Nuclear Pizza decided not to capture that. He's trying to go in for the kill. 
for polar bear. No, he's backing off of polar bears. Polar bears. Oh, nice job, polar bears. See what I mean by um, what do I know? He is putting the hurt on polar bears starting factories and starting mass points. Could he take down that factory? There is no way. Boom! Down goes a factory and a mass point. How absolutely annoying is that? Polar Bears is now ahead on the mass game, it appears. Well, maybe, maybe not. No, he is ahead on the mass game because he took down that one mass extractor and he evened out the, what would you call that, the factory count. So it appears that, wow, my voice just um, had a little issue there, so I apologize for that. Uh, wow, he is now ahead on the land factory game <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna drink some water cuz that is really nasty forgive me if you had to hear that it had to happen here in the finals and I like how nuclear my polar bears is fixing up his commander very slowly as his health coming back and we have demolishers on the field for nuclear pizza nuclear pizza evening back out that mass game as he is waiting to rebuild that land factory right on that wreck which is the wise thing to do polar bears opting not to expand right now polar bears is getting the peace shields i like that play that could be very 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 useful indeed but against demolishers that could be very hard to deal with and Nuclear Pizza splitting off his forces. He's got five of them going north. And the rest of his units harassing this forward land factory. That engineer really needs to move. That's a good... Now that's exactly what you want to do. Get it under the shield and help that commander out. And I like this. That land factory evens out the playing field there for Nuclear Pizza as... Both of his engineers are really, really working on that those land factories. And Polar Bear's doing the wise thing and Control Kane saying, No, you are not getting free research points from me at all. And Polar Bear's be, I mean, doing a really good job at defending against these demolishers. Demolishers are so good. Nuclear Pizza just poking in and out of those shields, just trying to weaken them just a little bit to do some actual damage when he is able to. Nuclear Pizza getting training one on his units, making them very, very, very strong. And he's getting some mobile missile launchers that are going to be very useful against the peace shields, as well as being very useful at harassing this land factor, Hope, hopefully for him. Forcing a mistake from his opponent. And a fourth land factory coming down for the pizza. Another friend. <laughs> There's my voice having a little bit of an issue. Another franchise there for the pizza guy. As nuclear pizza's demolishers are just utterly annihilating the pea shields. Shields. And polar bears frantically, frantically is trying to micro his way out of there and there's a lot of yummy yummy mass there yes i'm talking to you alpha hex there's some delicious yummy mass there in the center as polar bears is trying to suck that up he takes a couple of rockhead tanks to the face he's able to walk away from that and there we go and nice finally polar bears is expanding as pizza has been doing that for a little bit already He's got one land factory beyond polar bears, and look how fast those shields go down from the demolisher fire. That is so, so powerful, and it's a great, great counter to pea shields. Pea shields are not bad for soaking up some damage, but in the long run, those demolishers will win out, and... Polar Bear is taking some meteor fire right to the dome. 
not so good, but that does happen when you are very busy. And Peace Shield's coming out for Nuclear Pizza. Nuclear Pizza's getting his commander involved. That is going to be so, so hard to deal with. And a fifth land factory there for the pizza. And I don't know what Polar Bears is doing, why he doesn't have more land factories. But he is going to be overrun here in the next few minutes. Ah, Nuclear Pizza is d getting that delicious mask. Mass? Wow. Uh, that delicious mass. That is the way to do it. And it appears that Polar Bears has demolishers, demolishers of his own, which is the right way to deal with that. He's ground firing, hoping that commander walks in to that. And, oh, <laughs> Pizza almost lost his commander there, but... He is so smart, he backs the heck out of there. But then again, if Polar Bears didn't take him out, that would have been a sacrifice of that entire group of units there. Polar Bears has the definite, the definite peace shield advantage as Nuclear Pizza has the Demolisher advantage. And a six land factory there for the, for the Pizza and another... Another radar station. I like it. That's really going to help keep him from getting flanked there. And a fourth land factory there from Polar Bears. He's still down by two, it appears. And you definitely don't want that right now. You definitely do not want to be down by two. You always want to match your opponent factory by factory and he's slowly catching up getting down a fifth land factory but nuclear pizza has put down all of his mass points and polar bears is down by one two three four down by four mass points so that is going to be very very hard for polar bears to keep up that mass must be hurting right now and any mistake from either players right now would cause the game to be pretty much over as a large amount of rockhead tanks reinforce the pizza's front and that is going to do some work to all of those pea shields and it appears pizza is just going in there for the kill he's got that training one as and i don't think um polar bears has any training no he does not training two he is just going to go in there and wipe them out as he's dropping down his 7th factory. All those units are just being mulched. And Polar Bear is doing the death march. Walking in bravely. Boom! Down he goes. Getting destroyed. Death by demolishers and rockhead tanks. Very well done there, Polar Bears and Pizza. That was an awesome job there, Nuclear Pizza. Getting those units into the back of his opponent's face. Pizza really, really had it rough there in the beginning because Polar Bears went around... Um, no, he, he put those meteors right in his face, took down a factory, and a mass point that really had to hurt in the beginning. And Pizza took his units around the side and did some work to a mass point. So that was a really nice back-and-forth match. Uh, 16 minutes gone on that one, and Nuclear Pizza definitely brought that victory in 30 minutes or less. So, Polar Bears is now an endangered species, as it is now 1-4-1. One one. This is the final match of the Still Speaks Open, so it is for all of the eggs in that basket, all of the marbles, all of Winner is going to take all. Let's just say that, guys. I think the next map is QAI Labs, or... Yes, I believe it's QAI Labs. And the Icons have returned to battle as Polar Bears is a, doing the same tactic. Rushing two land factories, one with his commander, and another with an engineer, which I'm sure he's going to switch it out as one engineer is echoing up. He is the, excuse me, he is the orange UEF commander. I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce what he is, because I am super excited. Maybe I did introduce, and I'm losing my mind. And Nuclear Pizza is the blue Aeon commander. 
Starting off with a research station, that is quite a risky move. And a land factory as his... As his... Engineers are echoing all the things. That is going to be quite something. I would definitely have thought to have gone air on this one because it, it's got such a long rush distance. And if you are way ahead on the air front, you could drop off engineers to get these extra mass points. That's three extra mass points. And if you get behind your enemy's base and maybe even put down a tactical missile launcher, just be so freaking rude. You could do some major, major, major damage. But he'd probably see that. But if you could get it back there without him knowing, um, holding, holding fire on one and getting two or three and just being so rude, that would really do so much damage and your opponent could not respond to that in time. But that's very rare that you'll have the opportunity to do that because your opponent will probably have some sort of air force and he'll probably accidentally scout it. And this is such a nice landscape if you can see how deep those chasms really are. Let me see. You can't really see too much of it from that camera point. Yeah, I know I'm going off on some sort of tangent, but this is the eco phase. Not a lot happens there. Now, let's see what Pizza has. He has three land factories and a research station. Is that legit? Because, wow, that's quite a bit for three minutes in. And Polar Bears has only two land factories, and he's going all the things. He went straight to Peace Shields, which is, which is the right thing to research against Aeon. Well, maybe it is legit because he didn't go straight for the mass extractors. He's got to wait for that one as as Polar Bears has dropped down those two mass points pretty much immediately. So maybe that is exactly what happened. I'm not trying to accuse anyone of cheating. It's just like, wow, we've got all that stuff already. Uh, that's quite a bit. Like three land factories and a research station while having lots of your mass saturated. Then again, you know, after this patch, that is very well plausible. Uh of happening and nuclear pizza is getting build time from all the units and he's pushing in there trying to poke at the endangered species trying to put that endangered species list into the eradicated list in 30 minutes or less because you know nuclear pizza has opened up three franchises in the area and a corporate office right there with that research station research station so he's investing quite a bit on these <laughs> in these mass extractors. Or he invested actually in these, what would you call that, in these franchises. And Polar Bears is trying to put down some wildlife reserves here. He's got three of them right there. He has his units clashing against his opponents there. And it appears that, I think... Nuclear Pizza has some training on his units. Yes, he definitely has. No, he doesn't. He has the Boda Booms, which is adding lots of health to his units. I think that Boda Boom went down. Or did it? Where is there a Boda Boom? No, man, he's got training. He's got training. I thought a Boda Boom was there. But Pizza... I mean, Polar Bear's bringing his commander into the mix. Whittling down lots of those units. That Those Peace Shields take quite a beating. Polar Bears masterfully controlling his units and his commander as Nuclear Pizza is getting extremely aggressive, trying to go in for the kill against the Polar Bears. The Polar Bears backing up, feeling endangered by this conglomerate here of Pizza, this radioactive Pizza guy pushing polar bears back into his wildlife reserve but he is actually not pushing back his only his commander pushed back he is continuing to push in doing damage and right here nuclear pizza is in a terrible terrible spot because those pea shields 
do so so well against against everything that Aeon has. As you can see, there are no artillery to speak of from the Aeon race because they don't have them. So what Nuclear Pizza is going to want to do is either get Edge a large, large amount of Yenzus or he's going to want to get these sniper bots. Wow, Nuclear Pizza keeping that point defense alive somehow. And not one of Polar Bear's units are dying, but lots of Pizza's units are dying. This right here must be extremely frustrating here for the Pizza as units just keep pouring in, taking out the point defense. But Pizza is diligent on that point defense. Pizza is taking lots of damage there, getting underneath the shield himself. Hopefully Pizza could get something to do something about this, but it appears that Polar Bears is just so persistent. He is insisting on doing damage here. If he gets if Polar Bears takes out that factory, that would be pretty much the end of Pizza. But the Pizza puts down two point defense. And he is running behind the factory as his health is well below halfway but he's got training one on that commander it appears polar bears is this being really annoying and nuclear pizza went nuclear in 30 minutes or less down he goes well done there polar bears that was so obnoxious but awesome job there uh, nuclear pizza you did great throughout the tournament you came all the way from the losers bracket i hate calling it the losers bracket but you did it, and you made it to the finals. You are going home with second place. Do not feel bad, because you played definitely one of the best players in Subcom 2 history. And you yourself are one of the best players in Supreme Commander 2 history. And here he is, our grand champion. The one, the only Polar Bears. He is definitely showing the world that he is not an endangered species. He is going to repopulate the Earth with the amount of tournament wins he has accumulated over the years and this is just one more so congratulations there polar bears you did a great job and thank you everyone who has played in this tournament and supported the steel speaks open or my channel in general so polar bears you are going home with the gold so congratulations and thank you so much for playing and doing this so great job everyone thank you and i can't express my gratitude so much because you guys stuck behind this tournament since day one and were very flexible with my schedule and i was flexible with your schedule so thank you so much for that it, that is so cool so polar bears congratulations as being our grand champion Everyone, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends, family, and foes because they need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, GG.